to create the left leg, we're going to click on New, Metric, Standard Millimeter IPT, and Create. We're going to start off with a rather complex sketch. Start a 2D sketch and click on a work plane. Using the line tool, draw a line vertically down towards the origin. Then at 90 degrees, bring a line out. Bring a line back up. Back in. Straight across and vertically up. Making a sort of back to front L shape. We're then going to draw a circle towards the top and dimension it so that it joins on to the back of the L. Using the dimension tool, select the back of it and make that 11.5. Then on the bottom, 8, 3.2, 2 and dimension the circle 7 millimeters. This line here, dimension it from the center and make it 2.255. We then want to trim away the parts we don't want to keep. So I'm going to trim away this line at the top until it's one solid shape. Before we can extrude, we need to make sure that each of the, the corner points are all joined together so that none of these areas are separated. If there's any gaps in between here, it won't extrude. Once we're happy that there's no gaps, finish the sketch Select Extrude and the profile should extrude itself. Make the extrusion 7.2 millimeters. We're now going to cut out the section to join it onto the waist. If we were to look directly onto the leg, we want to cut this out on the left hand side. Rotate your leg round until you're looking at the left hand side of it and start a sketch. Project the geometry of the circle and select circle. From that centre point, draw a circle and dimension it 7.5. Finish the sketch. Select Extrude. What will happen is it will try to join on. What we want to do is Extrude Subtract and Extrude Subtract 0 0.5 millimeters. To join it onto the waist and the wee bar that sticks out, Select Sketch and the circle again. Project the geometry of the bigger circle. Select Circle. Dimension 1.5. Finish the sketch. Select Extrude again. Select a small circle, extrude subtract again, only this time 3 millimeters. This section here will attach on to the waist so that the leg can swing backwards and forwards. We're now going to add a number of edits to the leg to make it look more realistic. To start with, we're going to cut out a square on the bottom. This would be used to join it onto the Lego mats. To do that, we're going to start a sketch on the bottom. 
draw a rectangle roughly in the middle and dimension both sides to 5 millimeters. Don't worry if it moves, we're going to move the position of it. We want this to sit in the middle of this rectangle. To do this we're going to dimension from this side here 1.5 millimeters. So that's on the longer side. On the longer side we want it to be 1.5 from this end and 1.5 from this end. On the shorter side we want to dimension it 1.1. This means that this side is 1.1 and this side is 1.1. Finish the sketch, select extrude, select your square, extrude subtract and extrude subtract 2 millimeters. We're going to add additional extrusion onto the bottom surface as well. Rotate round until you can see the extrusion you just completed and select sketch and click inside that extrusion. Project the geometry of the square and draw a rectangle from the top corner. Dimension this rectangle 1.2 millimeters, making sure that it's at the top end of the toe end of the foot. Finish the sketch and extrude. Select the larger section and extrude subtract, making sure that it's going up inside the leg and extrude subtract 5.5 millimeters. so that we hollow out the leg. Another feature to make it look more realistic is some holes on the back of the leg. Rotate round until you're looking at the back of the leg and select 2D sketch on the flat back surface. Bring the whole leg into view. Draw a circle and find the midpoint on the leg. Draw two circles in line on the back. Dimension both circles to 5 millimeters. Dimension the bottom circle 4 millimeters from the bottom and then the second circle 8.5 from the first one. Make sure that the two circles are in the center. So we can double check this and it should be 3.6 from the middle. Finish the sketch and extrude. Select both circles and extrude subtract and extrude subtract both circles 2 millimeters. The bottom circle should go through into the extrusion we just completed and the top one should still have a solid surface at the bottom. The final extrusion will give the leg some shape so we're going to rotate back round to look at the back surface and start a sketch on this back flat surface again. Project the geometry of the top line and the side so that you have a upside down back to front L shape. Starting from the bottom corner select the line tool and draw a line up at an angle. Dimension the top point 0.5 millimeters away. Finish the sketch and extrude. This time when it selects it you're going to extrude subtract and make sure the distance is all. You can now change the material of this leg 
and add it to your assembly.